She's still going. Man, this is like a record. Ford's done something right on this repair. Maybe it's the knocking on wood, Joe. Keep knocking. Keep knocking. Maybe that's what you ought to do every morning is get up, walk out here, and knock on the wood before you crank it. And hope it'll make it that day. All right, guys, it's Monday. What a great day. Joe's all star till what Monday. So let's take a look and see what he's got. You guys, come on. guys, how you doing? I hope you all had a great weekend. You know, most people say, I say, I tell people, I says, I'm really, you know, I really worked my butt off. And they go, honey, do list. I go, my wife never asked me anything, do I? I I'm too hard on myself. She, she <laughs> don't ask me to do anything. But I do plenty for her, let me tell you. Um, I keep doing more and more. But uh, anyways, we can got... never get enough done in same oh. life, no matter what. Next weekend, I'm going to show you pictures how far I got out on my bottom. It's going to be, I think, pretty amazing. But we have just one for a bucket of cash, Mr. Peter Christo. All right. Uh, like always, he is he's like a clock. It's right there. Yep. Um, and everybody always and asks, Joe's number is right down here. It's 731-412-7295. So you can shoot him a text. And yeah, we, get we tools. Like that. He ships. Yes, he ships. No, he doesn't have a website. Yes, he ships tools. No, he doesn't have a website. Yes, he does ship tools, but he don't have a website. I ship tools. So I ship all over. Um, I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools. I love selling, but I hate selling. Okay. I'm going to tell you why. All right. I love selling these because they are so good, and because they are so good, I don't have to sell them again. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, they are good. These are the IPA three-in-one diamond cutting grinding wheels. Mm -hmm. I got the two-inch, the three-inch. You know, I used to carry. You know, I used to the buy them by the cut-off wheels yeah. by the hundreds and the four-inch by the mm -hmm. hundreds. I get a guy one of these. It's still four years later. New guys come to the shop. They go, I need to get one of those that yep. so and so has. I found the, about the only way you'll break these is you drop them and it will crack after they get a lot of wear on it. It'll crack it right there where it's made where, where, where it's been, But it ain't because it you wore it out. It's because you yeah. did something stupid like yeah. knock it off a table. Yeah. You know? Because using them, they won't break. They won't deform. Mm -hmm. They don't dull. Um, and God almighty, a, they just keep going. They do. And they cut. Yep. I mean, they're, they're a bit aggressive, but they will cut. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you. They will last. Um, I haven't had a guy have to buy a second one because he's used it up yet. And I've been selling these for, it's got to be five, six years. Somebody well, I, was, I was going through those little cutoff discs you was talking about. And the problem is when they break, it's bad. Oh, like they, it's, it's bad. Like I've seen pictures where it's stuck in guys' face shields. Oh, I've seen it where they're stuck in their hands. No, no. Luckily, nothing like that happened to me. But Matco Michael had some of those. Those Matco branded. Of course, they're made by IPA. And uh, he talked me into buying one of them. And I'm like, dude, you've lost your mind spending $30 something dollars on a cutoff wheel. He's like, I promise you, it'll pay for itself. Yep. And he was right. They, so I had work. a guy where I used to carry, you know, the ones that are rated for high RPM, mm -hmm. reversible, all that, the regular cutoff wheel. And one day he says, Joe, he says, you might have got some bad ones here. He said, but look at this. And he's always got a shaved head. His exploded. Oh no. He gouged his, his skull. A few cuts on a couple of gouges through his arm. Mm -hmm. Luckily he was wearing safety glasses. He says, I never wear safety glasses. He says, he says, but I happened to be that day. He says, I think they busted too. He says, he says, I wasn't upset at me. He says, but them are bad. I showed him, I took them, I threw them all away. I called whoever I got them from. Yeah. And then I found out about these, and then I gave him one each. I yeah. says, I says, look, I says, you know, he never held anything against me. I, right, says, right. I says, but here, you're not going to have that problem again. He goes, Joe, I don't know. I says, you try it. I mm -hmm. says, I'm giving them to you. I promise you. 
Well, I know I actually got one of those mounted in my Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. And like just little quick stuff, man, it's hard to oh, make yeah. that, you know. But see, you can go underneath, you're getting yep. for a grind or relief, cut off, surface mm -hmm. prep. And then they got the three inch, there's actually a big four inch one right. for, for the big grinder. Mm -hmm. I got those two, and I forget what, I don't know what the price is nowadays, but. Um, these are 34, these are 36, 2 inch, 3 inch. They're hard they, to they beat. Got, they, you can't beat them. Yep. You just like can't. I say, the only way you'll you'll break them is knock them off. And it's got to be a pretty tall, like a regular table. They'll, they'll and you know, bounce it's with it. Probably with it. attached to a tool when it yep, propelled. It was. Yeah, and that's probably it, what it, did it, it, you it didn't know. Fall, just but didn't fall by on its own. That's the only one that, that I had to. Yeah. And like I say, and honestly, I got my money's worth out of it before, before I broke it. Before I broke it, it you know, yep. So. Yeah, you, unbelievable how good those are. Yep. Um, like I said, I love them. I love selling them. And then I hate it because you don't get I, I'm not going to be selling it again there. But uh, it's time to bring them out again. I got a bunch of new people, places that don't have them. So. Well, I want somebody asked me a question, and you know, I've got some Milwaukee stuff. I will, in fact, all the Milwaukee stuff that I've got from you, other than one piece that I okay. bought from Matt Sledge, all my Milwaukee stuff come from Joe. But somebody was asking me about the high speed ratchets versus the regular ratchets, and is there a difference in the strength? I'm like, man, I ain't got a clue, but Joe will know. So there's not a difference in the strength. It's just your run time. You know, you're running the boat down, a nut mm -hmm. down. It's a lot faster, and guys really do notice the difference. Okay. The only thing is, they only make them the high speed and the short ones. They don't make them the long necks okay. yet. And I so say, and I this say that, one is a quarter inch high speed, right? Oh uh, no, that's a long neck. Oh okay. It'll be the regular, the regular, oh, the length, regular length. The regular length you. ones will be that you can get them in high speed. You can't get them in high speed in a quarter three eighths yet. And then I say that, but tomorrow they'll have that because they always keep improving things. Yeah. Um, I wish they'd make those heads a little smaller on those because you'd think with the technology that they have, they can, and, they can and make I'm sure them they're always working on that too, but it's a strength and it's out there. And, yeah. Um, I guess it's the manual torque because, you know, I've... Yeah. People are always going. Mm, I've, I've done my snap on so hard it starts popping, and I'm thinking, uh oh, the battery's gonna break off of it or something, but it's it's held together. Now it'll break for sure because we don't have a snap on dealer, so there you uh, go. whatever. All right, so now we're gonna jump over to Vim Vim Sullivan. Mm -hmm. We have a Spark Plug Master set. Spark Plug Master set. Pull this off now. We're talking, we got some long, thin yep. 916s. You got the Ford covered. Mm -hmm. We got the thin, long, four, uh, 14 millimeter for like Dodge Hemis. I mean, it's yeah, well, 916. Old school with a 1360. Yep. Well, you know, somebody always pulls in with one of them. Mm -hmm. It's got it. It's there. It's all in a nice foam case. They're all, you know, marked 916s, 5.8s. You know, all and these nice green. thin walls. Green. What's your favorite color in it? It, 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 is, it really became that. I mean, um, they're not magnetic. I get that asked. Mm -hmm. um, they have the boots in them? They have the boots okay. in them. That's they got the boots do. in them. And people tell me sometimes when they're really hot, the magnetic, the boots melt. And... I don't know, but they're not, you're going to ask, they're not magnetic, but they are very good. Yeah. They're all knurled. It's I like got, the it's boots, got them all. personally, because I, I got a set of magnetic ones that I bought, and they're great, but they are a bitch to clean. If you've ever tried to get fine, of course, you're going to have fine metal shavings when you're changing spark plugs, because you're going to have rust, and it's going to suck to that magnet. It is not fun to try to clean that. I mean, we've all been there with a pick and a shop rag trying to get that off. It's tough, you know. I still like the beach and pop yeah, them out, I, spray I, them with some WD-40. I've, I've never thought of that, but. Easy breezy, I'll, beautiful I'll, I'll let the guys. Girl. I'll let the guys know. 
165 okay. for this here. The 13 piece set, right? That's what I said. Yeah. So, spark plug. 2, 3, 4. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There you oh, go. man. Okay. I have to take my shoes off, but yeah. I've got it figured uh, out. We're, we're going to jump now over to something from NOCO. I oh, really okay. wasn't sure about getting anything like that. So, what we got from NOCO? The carrying case is oh, fabulous. You figured it out. You knew this. I yep. know. I know yeah. you know this. I've seen it when you grabbed it. I was like, those things are pretty rare. <laughs> So, when, when you got, you go and you spend the money, you got a mm -hmm. NOCO GB X75 or something, and they make them for the bigger ones too, I believe, but you carry your, you keep, you keep it protected, you keep it in, it's nice and neat in the car, yep. back seat under the floor, in the trunk, elements, stuff don't get at it, don't get hurt, case don't get broke. And keep your charging cables here nice nice hard foam padded you got room for your other uh, charging cables and stuff here you got room for stuff here it's it's I mean it fits I mean it yep. took a little bit to push that down in there it's well protected and it's a lot better than that little pillowcase they give you when, uh, <laughs> it comes with you. Like, I don't know what the, that's the, supposed the, to protect, the, you know. The, the pillowcase just makes it look nice and neat in the glove compartment. Yeah. This here is a protective yep. case. And they do a nice job. It says no coal all over. You got the red ends here. It's in the, in the handle. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a protective case. You could probably drop this and not hurt it. Yep. I don't do that, to, you know. But It's a nice case. Very cool. 35 bucks for this here size um, I'm gonna be getting some for the bigger ones because I know my tow truck guys they right. get those they spend a lot of money on those I'm sure they'd like to protect them too so mm -hmm. I'm gonna offer that as well but when you spend money on a tool you take care take of care it, of it. Yep. it'll take care of you so that's true um, so we jumped around jumped all over the place take care of yourself don't have yep. to buy cut off wheels don't have to worry about them breaking. You do need to wear safety glasses because this mm -hmm. will eat metal. It's like it's hungry all the time. Yeah, and those things work great for grinding too. Like if you're gonna weld something together and it's powder coated or painted, yeah. it don't take but That'll a bump take that and stuff right she's off. gone. So, we got spark plug sockets, we got no coal cases, protective cases. Plenty of Milwaukee stuff, whatever you need, Joe can get it for you. Well. Yes, I certainly would like to do that. So, have a great week ahead. Anything you need, give me a call, give me a text. Number 731-412-7295. Keep safe. There you go. That's it. Well, I noticed the big vacuum's gone. Oh, yeah, that so. uh, got swept up by a few guys like it. Oh, yeah. See that? See the floor there? See that box of all them? Lots of screwdrivers. Yeah. yeah. That, now... There were a couple of times we were supposed to get together. I had something going on with screwdrivers. I got more coming in, but every time I we get together, they're gone. So I have that coming up. I'm going to try to have something going for you all. So think of screwdrivers. Look at what you got. Yep. And uh, we'll figure out why I got a big pile of junk screwdrivers there. Nothing like junk screwdrivers. Yeah. yeah. You must so be having a weld art project with some screwdrivers. We, we, can do all, we can do all kinds of stuff. Joe's going to stop people from driving on his land by driving screwdrivers through a tube before we're implanting it. I'll no, fix it. I, I just use regular screws. Just. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys. There you go. Have a great week. All right, Thanks, guys. Eddie. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Get up to Joe if you need some tools. Merchandise over here. Cool tools and discount codes in the description if you're not subscribed. You just take your finger and you just click that button, just press it. Y'all have a great week. See ya.